The movie starts with Lewis's views on life and love. He feels that almost everyone in life is searching for a great love story while he is doing the exact opposite. In fact, he feels that he's actually running away from love because he knows that it's not worth it. So much so, he has three very specific rules to successfully ensure that he never ends up falling in love. First of all, he never lies to any of his dates. He always makes his intentions clear from the start. He's not looking for anything serious, and that's not going to change anytime soon. Secondly, he doesn't casually hang out with any of his lovers, which means no trips, sleepovers, vacations, or inviting her over to his place. Thirdly, he never stays in a relationship longer than three months because he knows that that is exactly when things start to get real. So, according to Lewis's philosophy, before the passion kicks in and you're blinded by a longing for your partner, you should just end things. And more importantly, you shouldn't ever let any relationship go further than six months unless you're looking to fall in love. By abiding by these rules, Lewis has managed to avoid catching feelings for any of the girls he's been with, and has, in his own words, become a professional bachelor. On the other hand, our lead heroine, Lena, is an aspiring actress who often plays a fake girlfriend, wife, and even lover just to be able to pay rent. She takes on many different characters and plots. At the beginning of the movie, she's pretending to be the fake lover of a man who ends up purposely getting caught by his wife. Lena then apologizes and attempts to take the whole blame for the situation upon herself. She ends up getting punched by the guy's wife but at least she gets paid, because that's the only thing that matters to her. As for Lewis, he finds out that his most recent catch is actually a married woman with a daughter his age. He is flabbergasted, to say the least, and claims that he never lied and so, he didn't deserve to be lied to, either. He also reminds the woman that tomorrow is their three-month anniversary, which means they'll be breaking up anyway and might as well just do it now and get it over with. Lewis then emphasizes how his theory is essential for a happy life. He thinks that love is anything but beautiful, only desire is a safe option. Passion is maddening and love makes you excessively reliant, so it's obviously bad. He wants absolutely nothing to do with love. In the next scene, Lewis comes up behind his mother, embracing her and doting over her beauty but she seems a bit annoyed. Upon his good morning wishes, she quickly informs him that it's not morning anymore, but rather afternoon. Going on, she tells Lewis about how 13-year-olds become influencers and move out of their parents' houses and into their computers. Basically, Lewis doesn't have a job and she just wants him to at least gain a sense of independence. She wants him to become his own person and hopefully move out of her house so that she can be happy to know that he's happy. And, of course, she also wants him to find love. But Lewis tries to turn the conversation around and pins it on her instead. He claims that he can never abandon his mother which means that he'll keep living with her, just to take care of her. But his mother is unamused and remarks that he can't even take care of himself. She also reminds him that she won't be here forever and that he needs to do something with his life while he still can. But he tries to shut her down by telling her that she's only 68 and looks pretty healthy. He even goes so far as to tell her that she looks almost like a sister to him, rather than a mother. Upon seeing that his mother is not buying any of it, he tries to change the subject. He asks her what she wants to do for her birthday but she insists that she doesn't want a party. Ultimately, the scene ends with Lewis's mother calling after her son, begging him to find a wife or a job, but he is adamant that he doesn't want or need either. Lewis heads over to his best friend, Nestor, and tells him all about the Soria incident. Nestor is also a bit taken aback and they both decide that staying single will help them have longer and happier lives. Lena, on the other hand, is busy playing wife for yet another guy. Although she's been in a bit of an accident, she is more than determined to make it work. She presents herself as a shy woman to make the most of her situation, and it works too. The next scene follows the birthday party of Lewis's mother. Lewis's sister, Maria, is seen gossiping around and passing snarky remarks. Lewis walks out with the trolley laden with food. His mother remarks that he is her favorite chef in the world, but he brushes it off, claiming it's only a hobby. However, Maria is disappointed to find out that he's cooked shrimp, which she's allergic to. But Carlota scolds him, telling him to whip up some eggs for his sister. Eventually, when it's time to cut the cake, Carlota thinks of what she wants most before blowing out the candles. She looks determinedly at Louis before doing so, but unfortunately passes out as soon as she does. When they get to the hospital, Dr. Edmer informs the already grieving family that their mother has only six months left. This sends the room into chaos but Carlota silences everyone and decides to confront the bigger problem. She tells Lewis that her last wish is for him to get married and when he doesn't seem to budge, she threatens to cut him out of her will. Lewis is somewhat surprised by this request but Carlota tells him that he won't have kids to inherit her assets, hence his sisters deserve them more than he does. Finally, Lewis agrees that he'll get married just to please her. Carlota is super happy but Maria seems visibly jealous. As for Lewis, he informs his mother that he's already been seeing a girl that he'll consider for marriage. Maria points out that he's probably lying but Carlota decides to go with it, claiming that Lewis would never lie. She also reassures Maria that Lewis will introduce them in his own sweet time. And thus it's decided, Lewis will get married before the end of six months, which means Carlota will get to see her last child finally settled in and happy, before she goes. 
Following this, Lewis attempts to reconnect with several of his former flames, but to his surprise, he gets quite the cold shoulder. Long story short though, none of them are willing to get married to him. He even practices his proposal skills on Nestor but he also seems to be weirded out instead of being wooed. Lewis offers Nestor to get married just for the sake of it while they can both keep having their affairs on the side. That's the ideal situation for him because love is not involved. However, Nestor is not interested in the least, especially since he's already engaged to someone he truly loves. In fact, he tells Lewis to take this seriously because he can't spend the rest of his life alone. But upon Lewis's insistence, he tells him about another way out of the situation. He tells him about one of their former classmates who's actually gay but has hired a pretend wife for social gatherings. So, they decide to call up Julio and ask for the actress's contact information. But when things are finally starting to get somewhere, Louis feels unsure about lying to his mom. Nestor, though, tells him that his mom doesn't count as a date, so it's fine. Sitting at a restaurant, Lena receives a call from an unknown number and decides to ignore it because she thinks it's probably just another reminder that her internet's been cut off because of how broke she is. She tries to order but finds she can't really afford to get a proper meal. The waiter tells her to pick up the call because it might be good news and she decides to go with it since she's quite desperate at this point. Lewis tells her how he needs a fake wife and she pretends to check her availability just to seem more credible, and agrees almost instantly. They decide to meet at Lena's house to finalize the details and have a formal rehearsal. Lena asks Lewis what kind of couple he expects them to be, to which he answers that he would prefer a mature couple. However, she tells him that nobody would really be interested in such a couple because real couples tend to be rather unbalanced. Lewis admits that he isn't exactly experienced in that department, and she reassures him that she's the expert and so, he doesn't have to worry about a thing. To make the whole thing seem believable, they start building their relationship, coming up with how they met and other such details in case someone asks. They also decide that their favorite movie is Fight Club. Lena gets Lewis to read off some lines from a script but she finds that he's really bad at acting. She tries to give him some tips but is interrupted by her landlord asking her to pay her rent or vacate immediately, whom she brushes off before returning to Lewis. They decide on five dates in six months, including the annual pair of family gathering. And lastly, Lewis thinks Lena should pose as a bilingual, athletic lawyer who's 100% Catholic and thus, completely abstains from alcohol, to which she potently agrees. Now, it's time for Lena to meet Carlota but Lewis isn't impressed with her fashion sense, it's way too colorful for him. He fears his mother won't believe the act, but Lena reassures him and tells him to use smooch as a code word for when he wants a word in private. Carlota is happy to meet Lena but she introduces herself as a doctor instead of a lawyer. Louis tells her that his mom is on the verge of passing away, so this was definitely not a good idea. Lena also doesn't refuse alcohol despite Louis's insistence, and they both simultaneously give different answers to the family's questions about their relationship, including things they had already decided on earlier. But Carlota ignores everything and decides to focus on setting a wedding date for the two lovebirds. However, Lena informs them that it's bad luck to get married on a leap year, so they settle on January 4th. Since since Carlota only has six months, they wouldn't have to actually go through with the wedding. Maria points out that Louis doesn't work but seeing Lena unbothered, she senses that something is off. Carlota decides to exchange numbers with Lena and add her to the family group chat. Maria's husband, Sam, comes to pick her up and she tells him that something is seriously fishy, and it's clear that she's jealous. Nevertheless, they decide to follow Louis and Lena's car. While Carlota seems impressed with Lena, Louis is less than pleased. The two get into a bit of an argument but Lena confidently informs him that she was only improvising. Louis decides to drop Lena home before meeting Sue Gloria at a bar until Maria and Sam catch up and invite them on a double date. Louis pleads with Lena to help him get out of this sticky situation and even agrees to pay her double. At the bar, Maria tries to get dirt on the couple and blatantly stumps Louis's attempts at catching a few minutes with Sue. Eventually, seeing no other option, Lena fakes a fight with Louis and shows up at Sue's table. She introduces herself as Louis's sister, Maria, and informs her how Louis couldn't come due to a medical emergency. However, Louis is pissed at Lena and tells her to call off the deal altogether. In the morning, Louis greets his mother but finds that she's already invited Lena over for breakfast. Louis confronts her about why she showed up and she tells him that she can't refuse extra hours since she needs the money. Carlota gives the couple the keys to the family apartment as their engagement gift, and though Louis wants to refuse, Lena just jumps at the offer. She even goes so far as to tell her that they're so grateful they'll name their first daughter after her. Back at the apartment, Lena tries to convince Louis that living together is a good way to deceive Maria, but he tells her that she's only taking advantage of the situation because she was going to get evicted from her own place. However, the two actually manage to make a deal and Louis sets a countdown for six months because he really can't wait for it all to be over. And he informs Lena that she should start looking for a new place because this won't last long. 
Once they start living together, Louis and Lena click a cute couple photo for Carlota, and she sees it while she's at the doctor's. She's more than happy and Dr. Edmer tells her that her blood pressure is lower than expected. But Maria's blood pressure actually shoots up, especially when she notices the family apartment in the background of the picture. Eventually, Louis and Lena start clicking pictures in different settings to send the family and make their lie more believable. They even send accidental nudes. And over time, they start bonding as well. Lena confesses that she started the whole stand-in thing because she was behind on paying her bills as well as the different characters she's had to play for people. Louis shares that he feels like a failed promise, and the two realize that they have more in common than they thought. Lena tells Louis that if things don't work for her in the acting department then she'll pack up her things and head back home. The two also decide not to sleep together. As for chores, Lena blatantly refuses to contribute and instead spends her time rehearsing her monologue. Carlota plans to visit the couple a few times but always cancels at the last minute. And Louis finally decides to go on a date with Sue Gloria again since his mother and sister are out of the picture for a while. However, as soon as he steps out on the balcony, he finds Maria still spying adamantly. He shares this with Lena but he feels that there's something different in the air. At the grocery store, Louis wants to split the bill but Lena demands benefits, to which a random shopper pipes in and supports her vigorously, until Louis ends up paying for everything. Later, the two joke about how it seemed like Lena actually paid her to say all that. And over time, it seems that the two are slowly but surely getting closer because of living together. Lena tells Louis to invite Sue over and she'll go to a friend's place to give them some privacy. But Louis informs her that he doesn't invite women over and remarks that she doesn't have any friends. Also, he's paranoid because of Maria at this point, and so, Lena would have to stay just in case she drops by. Sue arrives and Lena tells her that her husband passed away and Louis took her in. She also makes things awkward for them when the two have an intimate moment, and Sue just ends up leaving. Louis is pretty disappointed until Lena tells him that he doesn't need to pay her anymore if he agrees to work as a chef, alongside her acting gig. The first event that they're covering is a bachelorette party and once there, Louis realizes that the bride-to-be is actually Soria's daughter. And despite his attempts at hiding, Soria finds him and even goes after him. Somehow, they both end up on the stage and Lena manages to play off the whole thing as a stage prank. However, Louis and Lena cover many more events together as part of the Better Half Pack. Lena even tells Louis's mom to stop paying him allowance since he's earning his own money now. She offers to lend him money too but he refuses to believe that she would have any, considering that they're both paid equally and she spends twice as much. However, she convinces him to go to a masquerade with him, where they really hit it off. They dance the night away and genuinely have a good time. Lena ends up telling Louis that he should actually give women a chance and he comments on how it's already been three months since they started their fake relationship. And that means that his mother has only three more months left. Louis visits his mom the next day and finds that she actually seems to be getting healthier, as opposed to what the doctor suspected. She's trying lots of new activities since she has a lot more time on her hands now. She tells him that she'll stay alive till the 4th of January, which means she'll be able to attend the wedding too. And although Louis is happy about his mom's situation, he doesn't know what to do about the fake marriage. He confesses to Nestor how he broke all his rules as well as his paranoia of Maria. And Nestor tells him to go camping up north for a while to get his mind off things. Louis plans a romantic trip with both Sue and Lena. And he confesses that he wants to give a shot at a real relationship with Sue Gloria. However, Louis and Lena spend time jamming to different songs the whole ride there, while Sue just sits at the back, forgotten. At the site, they set up a tent and a fire, and Louis announces that they all need to rest, despite Lena's disagreement. Even so, it seems that Lena is quite jealous, and she does all she can, to interrupt Louis and Sue. She tries to scare them with animal noises outside their tent while they're sharing an intimate moment, and it works. And as if that wasn't enough, Lena pops in at dawn to get Louis out of the tent, and tells him that they need to send pictures to Carlota, to which he agrees. Unfortunately, while they're away, Louis's phone buzzes in the tent and Sue picks up, seeing Maria's name flash on the screen. However, the real Maria informs her that she's being played and urges her to catch Louis, and Lena red-handed, which she does. She then rushes back to the site, wraps everything up, and heads back in Louis's car. Louis and Lena come back to an empty campsite and no sign of Sue, which forces Louis to realize that he doesn't actually love her. The two of them spend the night out huddled up together to avoid the cold. They even have a heart-to-heart -heart about everything that's been happening in their lives. And for a moment, it seems like there's a spark between them and that they might just confess, but they don't. Eventually, the two get back home and find Lewis's car parked there, with the words jerks inscribed on the door. But the handwriting is not legible, so they just decide to ignore it. It's finally time for the annual family reunion, and Lewis and Lena attend as expected. Dr. Edmer tells them that Carlota is no longer in danger, and she's miraculously recovered. 
The dance contest also begins shortly after. Maria has a winning streak and isn't ready to let it go. She tells Louis that he and Lena can never beat her. The beat starts and soon enough, Maria and Sam, and Louis and Lena are the only two couples left on the stage. The crowd applauds to pick a winner, which turns out to be Louis and Lena, and this really sets Maria off. She grabs the mic and announces that she has a surprise for the lovebirds. Sue Gloria comes on to confess the truth about Louis and Lena's relationship, but she keeps glitching and disconnects. Maria is frustrated but Louis takes this moment to come clean and confess that he has actually started developing feelings for Lena. And now it's time for Maria to gloat and have her I told you so moment until Carlota claims that she already knew. Lena mouths her not to say anything but she announces that she's the one who was paying Lena. And this time, Louis is left speechless. Everything comes back to him in flashes and he realizes that the truth had already been staring him in the face. He stares at Lena in disbelief and asks her if she really did everything just for the money. She tries to tell him that she fell for him along the way too but he simply storms off. Louis decides to crash at Nestor's place for a little while and also starts looking for a job as a chef. Unfortunately, though, he finds that landing a job is genuinely hard. Nestor tries to knock some sense into him as well telling him that while his mother was overprotective, she did everything for him. Louis realizes that he's become a much better person because of it, and it only proves that she did the right thing. And in that moment of realization, he also understands how much he loves Lena, and that he's not willing to give up on her. So, he rushes to the family apartment, only to find it empty. Carlota informs him that she decided to leave. Louis, who's still furious, confronts his mom and asks if she lied about dying as well. But she assures him that it was not a lie, but knowing that her son was finally close to happiness, proved to be a healing process for her. They eventually make up and decide to watch a movie together. Maria has also gotten divorced and is now living in Louis's old room. And while they're watching the news, they come across a disgruntled Lena on her way to the airport. And of course, Louis takes this as the perfect chance to go after her. However, he soon realizes that it's too jammed for him to take his car and just sets off on foot. He wildly looks through every single window to catch sight of Lena but she's nowhere to be found. He almost gives up until he sees her walking along the sidewalk. He calls after her and she turns back almost immediately. Louis wastes no time in proposing as they both confess right then and there. The couple shares an intimate moment in the middle of the road blockade, which even gets aired on the news. The next scene skips to their marriage. Lena's real name is revealed to be Maria Abigail and Louis is more than happy to welcome yet another Maria into his life. Nestor teases him to get ready for the three phases of marriage. Even Carlota finds a special someone in Dr. Edmer. As for Maria, it seems she's not completely over Sam yet either. Eventually, everyone finds their happy ending. And the film ends on a sweet note with a picture of Louis and Lena, as well as Carlota and Edmer's wedding, being placed next to the rest of the family.